And tonight, we're learning more about this Carrie couple killed Saturday after their car got stuck on train tracks in Morrisville. Family members tell us William Flint died trying to save his wife Dorothy just moments before the train hit and killed them. It happened on Morrisville Carpenter Road and WNCNC Sprasia is live at that intersection tonight with more on how this couple is being remembered. Steve. Well, Sharon, the couple who perished at this site were devoted to one another all during their lives, say family, and they say that even in the last moments of his life, William Flynn's, Flynn's dedication and his devotion to his wife was evident as she struggled to try and get off these railroad tracks right here. Police say William Flint was trying to turn from Morrisville Carpenter Road right onto NC-54 when he ended up on the tracks. My dad was out of the car. But my mom had fallen, and they think that he was trying to help her up. 83-year-old Dorothy Flint used a walker and a cane and had trouble getting around. She walked very slowly to keep from falling. And in the haste to escape the oncoming train, Dorothy fell. William refused to leave her side. He was died trying to help her, and that's the kind of man that he was. He loved his wife. She loved her husband, and he wasn't going to leave her side, not even with the train barreling upon them. The couple have a large number of grandkids and great-grandkids, and the family says their wisdom and love is going to be missed. My grandfather was as, as if he were a father. You know, they had the hard conversations with us. They were in all of their grandchildren's lives, all of their great-grandchildren's lives. Prior to this weekend's accident, NCDOT records say there have been three previous accidents here, including another one that was fatal at this great crossing. Coming up at 7 o'clock, we'll dig deeper into the history of this crossing, as well as tell you what the Flint family would like to do to make sure this crossing can be safer in the future, so that, as they say, this doesn't happen to somebody else somewhere down the road. Reporting live, I'm Steve Sprasia, WNCN News. And remember earlier this month, we told you about the delay of a new technology design to help keep trains from derailing. Using a wireless communication system, the technology can automatically stop or slow the train if it's going too fast or about to collide with another train. It was supposed to be installed on tracks by the end of this year, but that deadline will likely be delayed. Well, it's a much needed.